in this video we are going to talk about external id in salesforce so quickly start with that exactly what exactly is external id in salesforce so external id in salesforce is a custom field that has the external id attribute check meaning that it contains unique record identifiers from a system outside of salesforce uh, so when we select this option uh, from the import wizard will detect existing records in Salesforce that are the same external identification. Uh, to explain it further, let's quickly jump on to an example for the better understanding of things. So let's say you want to update or observe the records from your external system into the Salesforce system. Now below in the below metrics, you can see you have an external system with attributes like ID, name, email and phone. There is uh, within Salesforce, you have attributes like record ID, record ID, which is the unique ID in Salesforce. You must be aware of that plus name, email and phone. So generally record IDs of Salesforce are treated as unique identifier, unique identifier to match the records from external system. But suppose in this case, your external system does not have record IDs, as you can see in the below matrix. Uh, we have simple IDs in the external system rather than having the record IDs. Now we can select any of the custom field present in Salesforce as an external ID so that now it can be selected as an unique identifier and based on that update or upset begins. What I mean by saying that is in Salesforce, you can say, uh, let's say we have one attribute in Salesforce email. So let's make email field custom field as an external ID. Now the same field, which is a unique one, uh, just to keep, keep a note of this. Now this email is also present in our external system. Now, basis on that, on that email attribute field, both the matrix will be matched. So my external, suppose uh, my ID from my external system have email xyz at the read something.com and that same email is present in the salesforce then that row will be matched and the absurd or update function will begin on that basis now let's talk about the limitations so there are certain a couple of limitations around the external id in salesforce number one is the field type the field type should be any one of auto number email number or text so the, the field which you are looking to make uh, as an external ID should have a, uh, should uh, should be of type auto number, email number or type or text, sorry. Then an object can have at most seven external IDs field. So you can have at most seven external IDs in an object. Having said, uh, said that, uh, the, the last one, the last limitation is a bit catchy one. Uh, in this custom field marks, marked as unique also count against an object's limit of seven external ID field. So uh, to make it easier for you, so you can have unique, you'll be having unique IDs, uh, unique field, and you'll be having external fields. So unique fields and the external ID field should always be less than or equals to seven in an object now these were the limitation around the external id in salesforce now quickly just go to the salesforce and see uh, how does it look so i'll just quickly go to the setup within setup in object manager in object let's go to the object manager and select one of the and we can go on and select any of the custom objects so for 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 my uh for my example i'll be taking energy audit energy audit is one custom object in my salesforce instance so let's take that go to fields and relationships now i can see different fields in this custom object so these are the custom fields now the first thing that i have to look into is the data type of the field uh, the field which i want to make an external id which i which i want to convert into an external id so it should be as we have seen it should be number text or uh, the, all, all those kind of things so in this case i will say uh, i have an annual energy usage as a field which is of data type number now it suits our criteria I can just go and make this energy annual energy usage as an external ID by clicking on the drop down and selecting the edit button. Now in the edit button, you can see there, there in the general options, you have external ID checkbox. 
so you can just make it true you can make the external id checkbox true you can also make it unique because you don't want to allow duplicate values in the unique identifier external id and you can go and click on the save button now this has been now this particular feed analog usage has been uh, now been treated as an external id and it's a unique field now something which uh, which you can go and check in the import wizard as well now uh, let's quickly go to the import wizard uh, in the home in the quick find box i'll type data import wizard there you go Let's open the data import wizard and see if we can see and let's check if we can see the external id field in the match column so i'll open up the data import wizard click on the launch wizard button now i can see what kind of data are you importing so we let's check for the custom object energy audits now as you want to update existing records click on the update existing records uh, match by now there we should see the external id annual energy usage there you have now uh, not just name or sales force id now we also have annual energy usage using which as a reference field we can import our data and can update or upload the records from external system to our sales force system uh so yeah in this way we can make uh, any of the field uh, of said data type as an external id if in case our external system does not have the salesforce id uh, in that so we can use external ids to match to, to map basically both the metrics and both the both the both the external system and the salesforce system and we can upload or update databases on that I hope uh, this video was helpful uh, please do let us know in the comment section below